Hello, welcome to Techno Analyst. Today we will see how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2016 in Microsoft Windows Server 2019. This is new installation uh, in VMware. So there is no there is no icons. Let me. This is my pen drive. In this my pen drive, there is I already uh, copy and extract tab. I this is my pen drive. In this pen drive, I already extracted a setup file of Microsoft SQL 2016 standard edition. So we will start. So we will start the, uh, the installation. The platform which I am using that is a VMware. It will take little time because uh, you know I allocate 4 GB RAM and uh, this laptop I think its uh, memory is around 8 GB. So, just click on installation, click on the SQL Server standalone installation. As I said, it's a pre-addition evolution. Just select next, accept and next. If you uh, want Microsoft update from Microsoft, uh, this thing is required when you are uh, installing a license copy. So right now we are using evaluation period, so evaluation license. So we don't require that. This is a mandatory update, which is uh, critical update. It is showing up to us. No worry. It is showing Windows Firewall. So, what we do uh, for the smooth installation, we disable Windows Firewall. For 10 15 minutes, So here we can disable Windows Firewall. Later on you can enable it after installation. Now I will rerun the process. Okay. It's gone. Now here you can install the features which is required. So I will install the required features which I want.
I will not select all except two three service. The features installation is depending upon your requirement. Here I will click default instance. The my instance name is this one. Here I will always choose automatic the service which I want. So you can manually also do, you can change it uh, after that if you want. But uh, I always prefer to do it by installation. Here you can mention the password. See, this is a fresh installation so the administrative account is missing what we will do we have to enable the administrative account i will use uh, so So here I will add administrator account. So this is how you can add administrator account. Click on next. Then you can add an administrator account. Click next. Next. Again, I will add an administrator account. Click next. Next. Now click on install. Now installation is started. So we have to wait. All the features, features or uh, rules which we select that will installing right now. So you can check all the features which is installed correctly or not. If anything is uh, wrong, 
in your install uh, while do installing if any feature is not correctly installed it will show the red in color it will show an error like that uh, here we cannot see any kind of error so it's a successful installation so this is how you can install sql server 2016 in windows server 2019 thank you now after installing if you want to install uh, sql management studio so you have to be click over here in sql server management tools and here you will uh, it will take and when you click over there it will take to you on the microsoft uh, sql management studio download link uh, you, Just click on download and download will be started. So what we will do, we already download the setup file, which I will show you in my uh, you can see over here uh, the file is already downloaded. So we will use this file for the installation. Just click on install. The management studio with Azure. It started. After installation, it will prompt you to restart the system. So for smooth process, you should restart once. But uh, if this, if it is server and it's mandatory, you have to schedule restart. You have to ask to the you know people management and everything. Then uh, you, you you should not restart. You can restart it later. So we will just restart the system. So this is how you can install SQL Server with Management Studio in Windows Server 2019. So this is how you can install SQL 2016 Standard Edition in Windows Server 2019 with SQL Management Studio. Thank you.